okay, let's call this video um, Conquering Calradia. Here I am, Tanmora. I just grabbed some people. I'm about to go after Jamied Castle. Um, if you want to see what I have, if you want to have a look at the at the map, um, I have Nara and Halmar as cities. And for castles, I have Unuzdak, Wea Castle, um, Karath Castle, and Tarama Castle. I started on, uh, what is that, Karath Castle. And then I took Hawaha, Amashk, and Tarama. Every time I took a castle, someone else joined my party. I made a marshal. And he took Halmar. And I took that and moved my court there. And then the marshal, same marshal, took Nara. And I gave Nara to my marshal. I want Jamied Castle so I can begin surrounding my capital, Halmar, uh, with, um, with the castles. Hopefully I'll get Riindi and Uhun Castle next. Um, and that will be my foothold in Calradia. Of course, it started at Carafe Castle. So uh, this is the size of my war party. We're looking at, he's got 72. Now, first, when you get to the castle, you got to wait for your people to catch up to you. Otherwise, they're not going to go into the castle with you. Then I'm going to send the people without me the first couple of times. So I would like um, my Saranid guards, uh, the infantry, um, and uh, I want to move up the sergeants to who would be my front line and uh, let's see I got the Rodox sergeant up there I'll move the Saranid veteran footman up with the Rodox sergeant um Put the sergeant up here. Move the infantry down. Um, and actually, I'll move the Saranid guards behind some of the archers. That's I think they give them in the order that they're listed. Oh, actually... Let me put the veteran footman up. So I want to see if I can avoid my companions getting wounded. I'll save it under uh, progress, even though it's a battle. And click on the castle. See all the people joining me? A war party of 12 people. It's one of the largest ones um, I've seen on the map yet. So my country has the largest war party. Besiege the castle. Build a siege tower. And um, the highest engineer skill is eight. I just beat the leader of the Saranid Sultanate, their king in a battle where I had about 150 and he had a little more than 300 and he was, he was um, attacking one of my villages. The villagers joined me and I had about 200 against his 300. So, and I ended up winning. 
So I'll say start building. I'm hoping that they won't attack us since um since the le the king was defeated I was hoping that would give us a few days. Oh, um yeah, I'll accept the offer. All right. And I finished reading, so I just read the book just to read the book. Well, I can't upgrade the soldiers now. So it says you are laying siege to Jamied Castle. The castle's food stores should last for 28 more days. The siege tower is built and ready to make an assault. Sorry about that noise in the background. All right, now I'm going to order my soldiers to attack while I stay back. Um, they had, what, about 150 in the castle. So we're going to watch how many get killed. And once, once they're uh, at about 70, we'll join. Okay, so... Forty seven killed. Enemy casualties nine killed. So now they're at one forty one. Now I'll order my soldiers to attack again while I stay back. Ah, uh, Borcha went. And there's 13 killed. So now they're at 128. All right, I'm going to order my soldiers to attack while I stay back. They had 20 killed, so that they're at about 108. So... Notice a larger number were killed now, and our numbers are closer to theirs. Order them to attack again. Sixteen killed puts them at 92. One more round of this, and then we're going to go. Ten killed puts them at eighty two. Think uh I'll do one more round because they're not having that much. Fourteen killed. All right. So they should be very close to seventy or eighty. All right, lead my soldiers in assault. Hold on just a second here. All right. All right, let's do this. Lead your soldiers in the salt. Five, F1, F2, two, F1, F2. So I told the archers and my companions to follow me. Now, do I have to push this? All right, it's moving. Um, F3. 
F1. My archers held their fire. F2, F1, have them advance 10 paces. Ten more paces, and then I'll have them fire at will. Um, F2, F1, have them advance further up. F2, F1, further. It hitting him? Have them advance further. Zero F one, no. Let's do two F one, F three. Zero F one, F three. That's weird. <laughs> Let's see, can I see any of them? Ah, uh, looks like we took the castle. I lost about 23 people. I just hire these people. Uh, I don't know why I like them, but they're kind of fun to mess with.
and I will take the castle for myself. And you now have you may station troops who may try to recapture it. Also select whether you will hold to give it. Okay. And now the garrison, I will promote these two infantry. And I'm going to give pretty much all the troops to the, um, except for the special, like the mercenary, the sword sisters. I'm going to give all the generic troops to protect the castle. And then I'm going to go around and get the castle to have about 150 to 200 people defending it. But for now, I'm going to drop pretty much everybody off to defend it. except for my special troops. Promote them and uh, I'll first promote them from the battle and then and then I'll give them. Um, so I should tell you a couple of things. Um, the vassals that I pick have the highest, um, are the ones generally with the highest renown. So you need to track the renown of your people. Also, look who follows other people. The ones that are followed are generally the better ones for marshals and the ones with higher renown. I also give fiefs to high renown married people and people with a lot of family members. Now I will um, tell everybody um, to return home. And then I'm going to go rene uh, put the uh, marshal that I had back as marshal. Um, what else? So the renown I told you about. Um, let me show you who's at war with me. I went to peace with uh, Swadia a while back. Uh, the Kyrgyz Khanate, after we took two of their cities, then they went to peace with us. Um, we've been at peace at all times with the Vagars, the Nords, and the Rodoks. And um, we're at war now with the Saranid Sultanate. And of course it says I've had the upper hand with the fighting. Right now, the Saranids are only at war with me, not with anybody else, but they have a 15-day truce with somebody, and they recently suffered a provocation from the Kyrgyz. The Vagars are at war with Swadia. Swadia obviously is at war with the Vagars. They're also at war with the Nords. They were at war with me until two people declared war at them, and then they went to peace with me. The, um, let's see, the Rodoks are at war with the Kyrgyz Khanate. Oh, wait, did I say Swadia? Um... No, Swadia has no issues with the Rodoks. They're at war with the Vagars and the Nords. Okay. 
Um, the Rodox are at war with the Kyrgyz Khanate. The Nords are at war with the Kingdom of Swadia. Um, if you look at my kingdom, you see I have Halmar, Nara, Unuzdak Castle, Jamied Castle, Tarama Castle, Karaf Castle, Weya Castle, Zagush, Peshmi, Amashk, Kedelk, Mazik, Shaibal, Zumer, Hawaha, and Mit Noon. My vassals are Lord Rias, Regis, Despin, Blan, Kumipa, Kramuk, Tulug, Akadan, Dundush, Harold, Kanudar, Taubar, and Bilya. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. At least 13 people that uh, followed my um, territory. Now notice I took Jamied Castle, but Mazig is not owned by anybody. So somebody's going to be given Mazig. The person that doesn't have anything um, is, uh, let's see, hold on a second, um, Factions, my kingdom, Kramuk has Nara and Peshmi. So Kramuk has two places. Kumina has a renown of about 871. That is the highest in the, uh, out of all those people. So I am going to give Kumina... Um, Mazik. So I'll go to Halmar. Notice Despin's at 12%, Regis at 13%, and Kumipa is at 1%. So Kumipa clearly contributed in the battle. So he is going to, um, he is going to get the village. So I go to the castle. Press E if you want to kick. I talk to Lady Jeniava, my wife. I tell her um, to act as my chief minister. I wish to replace myself as marshal. Um, Kramik has done a good job, so I'm going to give it back to Lord Kramik. Notice Lord Tullig likes that, and I gain in relation with him. Kramik has a renown of about 703, which is good. Now, I want to grant one of my vassals a fief, and I'll give that uh, the um, what was the name of that village? Never mind. This is all for now. Leave. Uh, that village was Mazig. Okay. So I go back in, go to the castle. So we want to give Mazig to Kamina, who has the highest renown and helped out in the fight. Um, I want to grant a vassal a fief, and the fief will be Mazig, and the person will be Kumina. Kumipa, I mean. Lord Kumipa. 
and my relation with Lord Vlan increases from 98 to 100. So he likes that. And then I'll say that is all for now. So I'm doing, I'm gonna go recruit some troops, fortify places, sell prisoners, and um, um, hold fees. Fees are important for increasing um, your renown. So in fact, I should show you my um, renown is 1548, my honor is 256, my party size limit is 162. Uh, known lords by relation, a lot of the people that I'm at 100% with are ones that came to join me. And I am a negative one with Jarl Luraquen. I'm a negative one with King Yaroglak. And Heida Noyan, I'm a negative 24. Everybody else, I'm, uh, I'm not so low with. Heida Noyan, I think, is the one that... I attacked to start taking over my kingdoms. Thank you for watching.